Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are seeing the brand new release of Blender 2.92, the release candidate. Now this is the version that you need to download, play with, and do a lot of exploration with, and also report bugs. So the folks at Blender Foundation have released this one, and this one is quite interesting. So for those who would like to get this, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can go ahead and take a look at it. Meanwhile, there's a couple of updates that you guys also need to know about. But before we get right into it, if you've not subscribed to the channel, simply go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you will be the first to know once there's a new update. And with that said, let's take a look at some of the new improvements and things that you need to expect. So the release actually happened on the 24th of February and right here there are a couple of things. I've actually gone ahead to download the brand new version and by simply popping this open you would notice that you know it looks very similar to most of the things that you've seen if you've been around the channel for a while but right here you would notice is noted as Blender 2.92.0 the release candidate and this simply means that all of the features that we've always wanted to see before now are right here and this makes a lot of sense because from this point you would notice that we have the add objects which is pretty cool so at this point we can actually go in and do all of these things so it's just very interesting to see that the things that we expected to see for the final release we are beginning to see them Although there are certain things that you might have seen within the update sections that we've talked about, which is specifically for Blender 2.93, that is not going to make it over to Blender 2.92. So a tool like this is very lovely. And of course, for those who like to play with it, this is going to come in very, very handy. Now with this set, we've also taken a look at some beautiful things. So real quick, let's talk about the geometry node. The geometry node is a brand new thing that everyone is raving about. So let's go in there and add a simple cube and uh, let's bring this one down. So there are certain things you might not be able to play with with the brand new geometry node. So if you go over to the geometry node section, select this object and click on new and you have your geometry node right there. And going all the way in, you also notice that everything looks pretty the same. But then once we go ahead and do shift and A, and go right through you notice that what we have is more like the very same things that we had during the time we had the original announcement of the release of blender 2.92 for beta so going all the way through you'd also notice that we don't really have all of that new fancy nodes that we have right now so how you scatter things as well is uh, quite similar so i'm just going to go ahead and do that and we're also going to do a simple point as well and we want to do that point instance right so it's quite similar to what you already know and, and love to work with so we have this one right there and you can actually go in and drop the density down increase the density however you want and for those who like to do the scaling of course you've also seen that point scaling so we'll go in there and do the point scale and use the point scale to actually drop things down so this way we can say we want this to be driven by a given vector and we can actually use this to bring things all the way down so let's go ahead and bring this one right down there and so we have something we want to work with so for those who like to play with the join node so right now if you bring in the join node as it is you can only join two things so at this point you can also you know just choose to join only two things and this is as much as we can get as it stands of course there are also a very cool set of nodes that we have right here like the attribute nodes you know a couple of color a couple of geometry and also some more so if you want to see a whole list of the things that is available if you simply go over to the geometry section you would notice that we have these ones lined up here so these are the nodes that are currently available with 2.9 to the present candidate release so for those who want to play with it you can simply grab this play with it if you experience bugs simply report those bugs so that you can help make blender 2.92 even way better and moving forward there is an update to the ui we've already talked about this one before there's also this beautiful modeling tool set which is also something that we've talked about so the last time that we talked about this we did say that if you have multiple object as it stands right now and you choose to go in and you throw in a simple modifier so for example let's say you throw in in this wireframe kind of love working with the wireframe because it's something very visible that everyone can see that you can literally go in and select all of these other associated meshes and transfer the very same thing so what you can do is select all the objects that you want then select the final object that has the modifier and once you click down here and go over to where you have copy to selected you can transfer all of the modifiers that this actually has directly to these other ones so this way it's even way easier for you to be able to play with you know modifiers and also have the same modifiers across several objects at the same time so imagine trying to subdivide a couple of things and you know going individually and doing them one after the other this way it's going to make sense something which i also wish to see in a much more updated version of this particular modifier feature is if it's going to be possible for you to 
copy to selected by simply instancing this. So whenever you make changes to the modifier, it should actually go through these other ones. You know, these are a couple of cool stuff that might actually make sense for a lot of people. So with this said, there's also a couple of cool features coming to the sculpting tools. We've talked about the elastic deform, the multi-res displacement smear. We've also talked about some of the other tools that includes painting, the studio light preset, and also some very cool improvements to the face set features. So for those who like to play with this, I'm also going to put a link in the description that'll take you over to a couple of videos that we've talked about, and you can also see how these things work. Meanwhile, Grease Pencil is looking very good, and we've already talked about the fact that the brand new trace feature in Grease Pencil do not only trace images as you can now even trace sequences directly in Grease Pencil. And by simply tracing all of the sequences, it's going to help you create images faster, especially when you've already done these things either on paper or you already have a GIF image and you want to simply translate these things to grease pencils. And owing to the fact that grease pencil is getting better and better by the day, it's also very interesting to see that right now there is a very good interpolation method that you can actually use and get even better results while interpolating two different stroke sizes and also interpolating different frames at the same time. The curve edit feature is also very, very cool. And we've already talked about this. So let's actually take a look at how you can get this one to work. So just in case you did miss any of those videos that we talked about this, how you get to work with this is once you make a curve, so let's go ahead and let's make a curve. So once we press the tab key and jump over to this, we can actually select the curve editing. So once you select a particular point, you will be able to have access to the curve editing. Now, if you click down here, you can easily increase the angle. You can also increase the resolution and also the threshold. So this way it's going to be easy. So let's jump back to the camera. So this way it's going to be easy for you to control certain points. So if you select a simple point like that, go over to where you have your move tool, you can now easily select individual curve points and select their Bezier handles and you'll be able to control this. And this is going to give room for more flexibility and also more cool stuff that you can play with. Of course, we're going to cover some of the major features that will be coming over to 2.92 once this is finally, finally released. And with this said, for those who are excited about playing with the curve tool, playing with Grease Pencil, you might also be excited about Cycles because Cycles have a couple of updates coming to it. And I'm also gonna put a link in the description for this one. So things that deals with GPU rendering, the RTX support, and also in terms of rendering volumes, shaders and baking, Right now, this is something that is very nice. We also did see an update to EV in terms of crypto math and also AOV. For those who would like to, you know, take a look at something else, which I think is cool, not the fluid, fluid looks good. I'm gonna put a link in the description where you guys can find the project file for this, where you can also go ahead and play with it. Let's talk about a very cool add-on that has always existed in Blender, but I kind of think that a lot of you guys actually take this add-on for granted. Now, this add-on is known as Blender Kit. Now, this has actually been improved and it looks even way better. So in terms of texture resolution, HDR assets, and also particle system. So for those who like to have particle systems directly in their project, directly in their scene, and you want to be able to play with this, you want to be able to use it for something that looks very cool, right now you can take advantage of that. Meanwhile, in case you don't know how to get this thing going, all you need to do is with a brand new scene, if you go over to edit, go over to preference, let's drag this preference thing all the way here. Just simply type the word blender kit and it's just gonna pop up right there. If you already have an account, simply go right here and fill in your user details and you know, it's going to log you on. If you don't have an account, it's easy to actually press N on the keyboard Go over to where you have the blender kit and right here you can simply log in all right so i've already logged in here and of course you can see my details so you can simply go in there log in and that way you'll be able to have access to a couple of things so if you're looking for free models you're looking for materials you're looking for scenes hdrs or brushes this is also something that is for free that you can grab and how these things work is pretty pretty nice so for example let's say we drag this one all the way to a point like that and if you're looking for some sort of asset and you go ahead and type that, so I'm just gonna type the word grass, for example, and press the enter key, it's just gonna go ahead and search for all of the kind of grasses that exist and we can take a look at them. And this is very beautiful because most of these grasses are actually particle systems. So in case you wanna use this, you can actually get going with that. And if you're looking for something else, let's say we're looking for things like books, all right? For example, if you're looking for things like books, you can simply go ahead and type that and search for it. And in this case, if you want to download any of this, just simply click and automatically it starts downloading right here within your viewport. And this way, 
you will be able to take advantage of something like this and actually do the most with it so just in case you have no idea this is actually here and the beautiful part about all this is it is now even improved and looking way better and with more and more assets being added to it this is just one of those tools that will change the way you interact and also use cool assets directly in blender if you want to take advantage of the materials you can actually go in there and search for the materials if you're feeling excited about getting some scenes or maybe you're looking for hdr or maybe there are certain brushes that you like to take advantage of you can actually grab all these things for free these things are for free right here in blender and just in case you have no idea they are actually better right now so some very cool features you can get here the compositor also has a couple of updates coming to it now the reason why i'm talking about all of this is try as much as you can to play with these things experiment with them break them and report the bugs and that is the main and the sole purpose for this present release that is available right here within the blender community and that's definitely about it the blender 2.92 candidate release is right here play with it the next big milestone is just around the corner and you can actually make it even way cooler so link to most of the things i've talked about is going to be in the description for those who like to see most of the updates i've also talked about for this release coming link to that is also going to be in the description so do well to check these things out tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace